we have to discuss the second chapter motion and straight lines so we have to discuss the various terminologies now the next terminology that is to be coming here that terminology is coming here that is the reference reference point reference what is the reference Reference is the place or space where our observation is to be done. Reference frame. That is the reference frame. Reference frame. The place. This is a simple car here, and there are two chairs for sitting. The first chair is there, and the second chair is there. And the two persons are on the sitting, and this this is passenger one, P1, and this is passenger P2, and this is the car and velocity of this car is V and simple if that is a simple Y here and C is also running with a speed of V1 and this is and simple here also a person on a car that is moving with V3 space here we see that this Y is observing this system and here we can say the ground is our reference frame because the reference frame is changing where our observation is to be done if this Y is simply standing here or walking here and simply sees that this car and this car is to be known as reference frame and if we see another thing if this Y is running in the car and if he sees this Y, this is the sitting on the chair and this is called the reference frame. The chair is also called the reference frame now of second one. So here we simply say that the place or space where the reference frame is to be taken, so we have to square. Here we see that a concept of relative velocity is coming here. That means basically velocity of a with respect to B. So we have to simply know the formula velocity of A minus velocity of B. This is the basic formula of the related concepts here. It means we can see that velocity of A with respect to B. It simply it can say that we are sitting on B. We are sitting on the B reference frame and seeing the object of A. And hence we can say that if we are sitting on the reference frame, then the velocity of the reference frame will be 0. And the velocity of reference frame A is ready as If we simply say that both of the velocities are taken in same reference, both of the velocity Both velocity are taken in same reference frame. First concept we have to introduce. So we have to write. So we have to know that velocity of this is y number one. 
this is y1 and this is y2 and this is passenger number 1 and this is passenger number 2 and the speed of car this is the speed of car so if we know that velocity of v1 with respect to car so we, what is the formula behind here so we have to see that velocity of car is equal to velocity of 1 minus velocity of the car and what is the velocity of the V1? That is to be V1 because this velocity is given in the ground reference and what is the velocity of the car with respect to ground? That is the VC minus of this. This is the concept so we have to remember. Both of them are taking the same reference plan. If we are know that velocity of Y2 with respect to V1 then we see that we are writing the simple formula velocity of V2 minus velocity of V1. What is the velocity of V2? That is V3. That, but this velocity is given with respect to car here. So first we have to find the velocity of this passenger, this Y, with respect to ground. So we have to first write velocity of y p2 with respect to velocity of p2 with respect to that is velocity of 2 minus velocity of c so we have to write the velocity of the r with respect to so we have to write this formula that is v3 minus we have to write the velocity of this. Velocity of V2 with respect to car, this is the velocity of the car, and this is written as V3, and this is so we have to find V2 is equal to V3 plus. So we have to write here. So we have to conclude it. The basic concept so written. So we have to first to learn that. First we have to write the upper velocity with the same reference frame. After that we are applying this formula for the relative velocity concepts.